Hello and welcome students to the section 2 of the course information gathering. So what we are going to learn in this section first of all we will learn that how you can gather information about web application all the basic concepts then we will learn about how you can identify the machines and the OS of the web server then later we will learn how you can find out the port numbers and the services available in the web applications and some more spidering tools regarding websites. So first of all we are starting with the discovering the infra of web application. In the first video of section 2 we are going to learn that how you can gather information about uh, the web application and uh, then the techniques to discover and gathering this information. So to do that we need to open the browser of uh, the operating system. You can use Windows or Kali Linux doesn't matter. So I'm using Kali Linux here and open the browser of Kali Linux and uh, then we will open a particular website to gather information about the web applications. So here I am at Kali Linux operating system and first of all you need to open the browser of Kali Linux so and open google.com inside it. Here you can see here that uh, I have opened the google inside the Firefox. Now the website uh, we are going to visit is whois and hit enter. So you can see here that uh, you can see here there are so many results available regarding whois. So which one is the right one? right because uh, we cannot use all these websites you can see in the second page as well all these websites are available but let me tell you which one is useful for us so you can type who dot is right and hit enter now you can find out the real url regarding who is which is this one who dot is is the right url of who is right who is search domain name website and ip tools are available so click on that and open the website here the, so this is the search box available inside uh, the who is website here you can type the domain name as well as the ip address right ip address of web server or the website name you can put here so for example i'm trying to search information about uh, the sample website vulnweb.com right you guys can also search it because it's a sample website so anyone can use it so you can type here vulnweb.com so i want to gather information about this website the basic information right and you can hit enter so now it is gathering information from internet and uh, from registrar directories and providing information right here on one platform so now when you come down so you can see here that this is the registrar info right the name euro dns sa the server is this one right come down and you can see here that uh, these are the some important dates available for example when the domain will expire when it was registered and when it was updated now these are the name servers ip address are available uh, this information is really useful in pen testing process now come down and you can see here that uh, the name of the company acunetics limited this is the address of the company this is the city Tortola. This is the postal code available, right? Country and phone number is also available. So if you want to contact to the company, then you can use this phone number. If you want to send a mail to the company, then you can use this one. Administrator at the rate acunetics.com. As I already told you that this website is a sample website provided by Acunetics company. Alright. So this information is actually useful when you are gathering information about any website or web application. Alright. Let me come up and uh, if you can click on history. So it is loading history for us that you can see here. There are 285 historical who is records. Now DNS records. So information about the DNS domain name server is really important. So you can see here that all the information about DNS is available here. Now diagnostics. You can see here that there are two entities available here one is ping and one is trace root. so what is ping ping is basically a process to check that the web server is live or not so you can see here that uh, it is showing us the request coming from the server it means web server is live this website is actually running and this is the ip address of web server now if you come down then you can see this is the trace route trace route means the number of hopes in between two machines for example my system is running vulnerweb.com website right so i'm connected with the server of vulnerweb.com so how many hopes are between me it means my 
system and the server of volnaweb.com which is listed here right so you can see here it is showing us 22 hopes are available between me and the server of volnaweb.com so these all information is actually available on this website right you can also try other websites regarding who is but this website is actually the right one so remember who dot is is the website which can provide you all the basic information and you can gather all the information right here on one platform so this is all about discovering information about a website